so what's up YouTube I'm back again with another video so we're gonna we got this uh, 2015 Jeep uh, Rubicon it was really sick it's got the nice big wheels and tires with the Fox shocks with the, with the trip bumper hitch on the front guy updated the LEDs in the front with the halos with the thing and uh, what, what I would call just hello halos and LEDs uh, it's got the winch it's got the cool light bars with the lights on the top and it's really sick nice looking Jeep so what he asked me to do he's a buddy or one of, he's a friend of a friend so what we are doing to this Jeep is and I've done most of it so far um, what we basically did was upgrade the uh, audio package so we put in the Audison amp with Hertz components as you can see the covers are off so I'm not done with the adjustments on it we put um, the tweeters up here we put the mid drivers in here. You probably can, maybe maybe can see them. Kind of hard to see. Uh, we also replaced the radio with the with the Kenwood with the Maestro with the, the Maestro interface that works the steering wheel controls and all that good stuff. So we it actually had a factory Alpine system in it. It's pretty sick. So what we did was we went through and like I said, update all the speakers. We haven't mounted the amp yet. We got the wiring in. We still got to check phase. We still got to set the gains. Uh, and also we did the. Um, light bar I mean we actually the speakers up here in the sound bar uh, I'll pull those down and show you a picture of those as well um, get you some images of those and then I came back here and he had some work done before I didn't do this um, not that it's it's bad but you know we pulled out everything just to look at it. it's a little dusty no big deal they did some test of tape and some yellow and red wires then I looked at this and then we have a ground challenge so and we got wires ran everywhere and it was like magic tesla tape land so we got to figure out this here uh, they put a base knob around up front they have wires here for the sub oh, that's cool so i gotta figure out how to re readjust that because it's not mounted either um it's not mounted at all okay so we'll figure that out because i can't let it just leave and then uh, clean up this wiring here, take it all out. I gotta take this apart so I can figure out what's going on. So um, I did all the wiring that I needed to do on my end yesterday. So today we'll be basically setting up the gains on the amp, running an RCA to the sub. Uh, that way I could set it up so that that camera was ready to work, and I made it work with the backup camera. And then, like I said, once I get to the, the actual uh, setting up the. Uh, checking the polarity on the setup um, we'll fix all the rest of the stuff and then we'll do polarity check and I'll show you that and then I'll show you how I set gains on amps as well um, so stay tuned not a big difference we'll just take it from step by step see you in a minute T-tap finally begin. So I gotta pull all this out. Pull the T-taps out. Pull this wiring out. It's not that complicated. Just this is gonna be the hardest part is fixing all the wiring here. You know, cut all the Tesla tape out. Fun days.
this makes it hard. <sighs> On top of that, check out this ground. Holy cow. So, my Sunday just got a little bit more complicated. So, let me figure out this mount thing. And then let me figure out what I'm going to do with this wire shenanigans. And then I get it all cleaned up, we'll get it all wired. All right? Catch you on the other side. And we still got to do adjustment on the amp. Still got to do phase on my side. So, I mean, it's probably going to take me about another hour or two to get it all figured out. So, hopefully we'll get done. Get it all cleaned up. All right? Check it out. Wow, they just use black, white silicone on part of it. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can get this to figure out how to make this all work right. So we got some RCA's that run make it look pretty too, so let me run that RCA and get it back to the back. So we got everything cleaned up here in the back of the car. Got all the wiring fixed, loomed right. Uh, it's a little dusty. We still got to clean out the back end. And uh, still got to test uh, gain output, check that, that figured out so all the wiring we taken out. Be done. This is some of the remains of it over here. So, I still got to do phase check and I still got to set the gains, but once that's all said and done, we're done except for minor adjustments. So, stay tuned. We'll show you how we do the gain control, the gain setup, and also the um, phase. All right? But what we'll do with the radio is we'll go to the radio and make sure that. Use flat. Make sure the sub is on and the volume of the sub level is all the way up. 
and we'll go to a crossover and let's see here go to sub I think it has some gain trouble gain so we have a crossover set at 80 Hertz make sure the balance and fades in the middle make sure there's no effects and that crap on Make sure the volume is set, set flat, positioning, all positions. Like say, sub level all the way up, no equalization. Um, let me see if the sub is right. Should be 12s. Let's do. Let's do 12. I'll do that all for now. The car is a 6.5, and, and we'll put the speakers. Say shell for now. I'm gonna do this and put this here at gash and use a six and a half. So we'll get on that in. Now we check and make sure okay. that what the volume is set at. So we're at 29 right now. Let's see if it clips at 40 on the sub. On the sub, that is. Oof, right in my face. sub is doing. Oops, see that square wave? 5 volts. So we're at 5 volts and a square wave. So we got to fix that. Bring that volume down. Check again. Turn the radio down to 35. Still got a score wave at 4.4. 31. The radio. No square wave. 4.4 so 31 is where we want to be at so what we'll do is now since we're in the back we'll do a gain overlap on the sub so the sub will be 40 hertz at I like to do 10 dB, dB uh, negative 10 dB on the output gains for the sub so let's check that So we have the level at negative 10 dB at 40 hertz. And let's check to see what the gain set at right now. So 25 volts. So we can go up. So about 49, 50. The amp doesn't go up when you change the gains up anymore on the output. So that leads me to believe it's load dependent. So we put a load on it, it's not gonna change it, but for now it seems like it's fine. Now we need to move to the interior speakers. And what I'll do is on the front, I'll do those at 5 dB and do the overhead speakers, the ones above your head at zero dB. So let's here get this cover off
make sure you press the two channel switch which is located here you got the B channels we have it on full range also so now we have our meter what we'll do hopefully you can see that and we'll take a channel Not which one's A right now. What we'll do is take A channel and turn it up, see what happens. So as you can see, we're at 23 volts and we got a clip volt. Got a square wave there a little bit. So we're at 20, 20, 20, we we'll go down to 21 volts. We do 20, that's fine. 20 for the front, and then we're gonna do 20 for the rear. And then we're gonna do 5 dB back. So we're gonna go zero. Oh, we need to do, sorry, that'll be 1K at 5 dB. Okay, so I should have known by looking at the, the, the frequency. So let's do the right frequency again. Okay, so now we see a square wave. Let me see it's at 1K. So the voltage will be about the same, 21. 21. Now we'll do zero for the da overhead speakers, 1K. The numbers can be the same, 21. We don't have a square wave on either one of them, so you should be able to see both of them. And as you can see at the gains, slightly different so now what we got to do is put it all back together and then we got to test um, phase phase is always the thing we also have to check and then we can put it all together and mount everything all right go back, get back to you in a minute so now what we do is we go down around the car and check the play of every driver to make sure it's in phase or at least make sure it's all in phase so what we do is we'll take this put it on CD turn this on on and put it right next to the speaker and if it's red red green it's out of phase. If it's red, red, if it's green, green, red, that means it's in phase. So I'm gonna have to check all of them. So left front is out of phase, the driver is. Tweeter is as well. So I know which one's which, so we got the right front crossover here. We just gotta make some changes on the crossover. So we'll make changes and check every speaker. And then I'll show you every speaker that's in, that's how we check it, okay? All right. Stay tuned. So we had to make one change on the uh, polarity. It was the left front speaker. So if you look, I'll go. do this to every one of your cars you ever do because you want to make sure every, every, all the work you put in you might as well make it sound good All speakers are in phase. Now we have to do set the crossover on the amp and then check the balance. And then I'll show you the final result after everything's cleaned up. Check it out. Okay. 
we got everything vacuumed up. We still got to put the mats back in and put the seat back in, but this is what the final result is. All cleaned up, mount, mount, mount it. I'm gonna go back to the back. It's got the box put back in, the big giant woofers in here. Big arc woofers with the Alpine out. Everything cleaned up in here. We gotta put the cover back on it and then mount, tighten up the cover and I'll get this car adjusted. That's really it and then we're done. So YouTube, after all said and done, two days later, uh, cars, trucks all done. I should say the Jeep Rubicon, real sick, black. So we got the, like I said, the Hertz speakers in here. It's copyright. Uh, so we got the Hertz speakers in here. Got the amp underneath the seat. Uh, new radio. Uh, Hertz in the factory location. You can't tell I did anything. Uh, but that, this is a little trick too. I like working on things like this. It's got the fact, it's got a backup camera way down here. Made that all work in there. It's all black on black. Hitch is sick. It's got LEDs in the back. Carbon fiber handles. A lot of good touches on the street. And everything looks factory when it's all said and done. So with that said, we're all done, YouTube. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.